Oh, the joys of beta testing. Hi everyone. Aaron here for Zolotech. And this message has probably appeared on your screen. If you're on the beta, probably about 500 times at this point, a new iOS update is now available. Please update from the iOS 12 beta. And while we've seen this message before, we've never seen it in such rapid succession. It's popping up every few minutes and you can make it pop up. If I do this, it will pop back up. So just pull down notifications and again, it'll pop back up. Nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. And that's really all there is to it. Now there is a way to turn it off, but it's not a good way. You can go into your settings and what you can do is in settings, you can go to general, and then you can change the date and time, but you'll have to roll it back a day. And this will mess with so many things. It's really not a good idea. I tried it. I rolled it back to the 29th, the message stopped, but what happens is, is all your authentication stops working properly. So iCloud won't work anymore. You get signed out of email apps, all sorts of things. So it's highly advised against. So the only other fix is go back to iOS 11.4.1. Now, if you just caught that in the upper right here, it says VPN. This is a bug I've been having with this beta. It keeps popping up over and over and over. I can't turn this VPN off. So the VPN itself, I have to reboot and then it turns itself back on. That might be part of an app that I have installed, but it's something that keeps driving me nuts. Now, there are a couple other issues I've had. I've had this freeze quite a few times right in the settings. And so just like the previous beta, it would freeze right in the settings app. There's nothing you can do. And then it would unfreeze. You could try closing and it didn't really help. Also, the phone would just slow down in general. So I've found that over the past few days, I've had to actually reboot it one or two times and then it was back to normal. I have found that I've gotten better battery life though, and the battery life is okay. Battery health is still at a hundred percent on my iPhone 10 and you'll see battery four hours and 24 minutes of screen on time. That's much better for me over the last 10 days. It's been pretty decent at least for what I had before. So it keeps getting better, at least in my experience, you'll see there's Twitter for today. So it keeps getting better in my experience. And then I have that VPN issue, but you guys had a lot to say too. I'm not going to go over every little thing that you said, but under the community page, I did a poll on YouTube and there were a lot. Let's take a look at them. So I asked how iOS 12 beta 11 and public beta nine has been for you. And what device are you on? We're down to 3% for terrible. That's a record. I think at this point, so 61% great, 3% terrible. Okay. But some bugs, I want iOS 10 back and I use Android. So only 9% using Android, but 61 great and 3% terrible is great. And now we're back to, it's not being so great because of that bug, but I've gone through these and there are a lot of great comments and most people are saying very few issues, few app crashes. I'll read over a couple of them, but there's so many here. You can check them out on the community page, but great. Can't find any issues on my iPhone 10. This is the most polished version of iOS to date. Performance wise. It's great, but I have a respring while closing group notifications. See if we can find any that aren't so great. Great, great, terrible running on iPhone 10. This beta has been awful for me. Lots of freezing and my battery life is horrendous. Battery 10 was absolute or bad beta 10 was absolutely fine. So I'm not sure what's going on on an iPhone six, six S plus battery got worse to keep the device smooth and fast reboot. Every five hours is needed. That's a lot. Got a bug with updating my apps. It says the apps are updating, but when rebooted, the same update comes back daily, annoying pop-up for iOS 12 update. So that was there, but it keeps coming back up. A lot of people are saying great on just about every device out there. It's running fast on all of these and the iPad, the seven plus the five S the SE, they're all running great. And if it runs great on the five S it's going to run great on everything for the most part. I use Android, but it must be amazing. I don't know if it's amazing. Been getting nonstop alerts to update to new beta. That was an hour ago. So these comments may or may not be relevant. Depends. But if it was in an hour ago, you're probably going to get that over and over generally much faster than iOS 11, but occasionally the UI freezes. And that's what I'm getting I had spontaneous restart yesterday when I was not even close or when I was not even using the iPhone today, Dropbox crashed three times before starting up. I'm on the, I'm running the latest bit on iPhone six. So overall, I think it's pretty good. I would expect an update tomorrow to fix that little bug. I don't know if there'll be anything else in it, but 
maybe see one on the 31st. But let me know your experience in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <laughs>